Yes, welcome to Keep the Ball yeah. again. Yeah. Hey, my man. <laughs> the stars are in front and fall. So <laughs> what do you say? Love it. Boys, we're looking tremendous again. Especially us three. Cream Brigade, right? Nice. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Can't it? believe you stole his job. I know, cheers. I said it was. That is some sort of thing. You just took pretty green too far, I think. You've got other colours in that, baby. I'm a good job. Don't worry, mate. I brought my fucking. Yeah! Stay for your square, right? Aye, stay for your square. Found that I am brutal, didn't I? What a joke that was, isn't it? Brilliant, mate. If you like what you see, there's a special offer for Open Goals fans. You all know it? You yeah, should yeah. know it. Tell us it in. Slaney. Text Open Goal. <laughs> you know the offer that they've got for Open Goal fans? Pretty Green said, make sure Sammy Ferry says the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Head over to prettygreen.com to check out their latest menswear gear and you can receive free next day delivery. So Super. order it then, get it the next day with the code Open Goal. There's nothing in that mug. <laughs> is there not? Let's see it. Let's see it. I pulled it in. Sure. Gra- gravy Gravy <laughs> By the way I need to give a special mention to Kevin Kyle Because he used to, look, used to look like a homeless guy on the show But can you get a wee Can we get a wee stand up Please Is he getting the brogues on? Mate look at him He's a bro Oh my boy. god man Obviously the wife's not got to be too happy with me Because uh, I Set the fuck thing <laughs> <laughs> I'm, up for, I'm up for today I'm up. Do you know I'm why ready. I've done it? Again, zips down. This is zip down. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> you do it as if you've lost a bit of weight, big man. Uh-huh. No, it's just a jacket and it's a uh, slim fit. Uh-huh. Tucked in. But you're into your fitness, isn't it? Somebody said you were foam rolling with a Pringles tube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, there's only two weeks left fitness. on this deal. So make sure you don't, don't miss out before the deadline. Full details and link can be found in the description box below. Andy, how did they go on YouTube? It? How did they go on the weekend? One again, mate. They won again? Yeah, yeah. Who pretty won again? Uh, one again. Who did beat? Oh, was the title decided on it? Slazenger no. did beat that. No, Lonsdale did beat Lonsdale. No, Dunlop, it was Dunlop. <laughs> Dorothy <laughs> Perkins. But they beat Biagio next week. Oh, oh. it's Champions League final. Aye, uh, what a game that is. But pretty green have got momentum, haven't they? So I think they they've got they momentum. They have momentum. They do have momentum, you're right. They're full of confidence in it. Yeah. But I just can't see them getting beat, mate. Nah. They four nah. signings they made a couple of weeks ago. Who, who are they? Who are the uh, signings? <laughs> he's Some big fat. A guy with that. A guy with any lips, a spotty bastard. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, big news as well for Open Goal. Did you hear it's gone? No way. Did you hear it's moving to Aberdeen? You're joking. You're joking. Oh. What you do you mean? No, do you not know this? Rumours, rumours he's, he's, he's not decided yet. He's right, decided. he's linked to Aberdeen, the jet. Has he said that to you? Or have you sent to him? Is that, is that done for you then, big man? You're going up to... He's gave me a, a letter to say that it's a, a four-week notice that I, for... That's him, he's giving me his four weeks notice, he wants his deposit back. So is he going to get a place up in Aberdeen himself? Him and like Craig Brown, I think him they're doing a in a one-bedroom. Pay up party, <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to keep the leather walls in his bedroom or change them back? <laughs> I'm going to keep doing the mirrored ceiling, because that was all putting. I didn't really like the mirrored ceiling. I saw things that I shouldn't really have seen. Uh, yeah, but what a move for the jet, eh? Aberdeen. Aye. I think that's a good move. Well, At his age, mate, get a move like I that? I know, done well for 40 years, so... He's had some career. Can Everyone it? talks about fucking Steve Davis, 36, that bit of it, did you hit? I know. I know. I'm Bruni, I, didn't... Paul. I don't know. I bet he's just saying, didn't he? I think so. Kind of a disaster, that guy. <laughs> I need to say as well, Kev, this day 2004, it popped up a day. Seen the big man's goal against Palace in the playoff semis. Wow. That's an odd silent story you've not told us. No, told us, mate. No, it was just a joke. Mark, guess who crossed it from me? Jason McAteer. No way. Oh, what did you play? The other names he's played with. You brought it down on the tits, didn't you? I did, aye. It was, and then it stuck was it uh, a young Niall Quinn-S tight goal. Cross in. <laughs> sucked a defender. Who was in. it you bullied? Uh, probably Popovich. Popovich, and, yeah. And... Uh, who was your other big something half? It didn't matter. They were, they were just no one. Just in, chest, volley. And then... We beat them 2-0. 2-0, two, two, two I think it was. And we were winning, ready to go through. Yeah, and they scored. And then in the 92nd minute, Neil Shipley scored. And that was it. Went to penalties. And I, I, to this day, I would probably say that's the biggest shite bag moment of my life. What, you shot at that penalty? I would have I would have thought, oh, scored as well. I know. I was, see, see, being selfish, I'll be honest about it. I played well that whole season and the first playoff game and the second one. And inside me, I was thinking, I'm not going to be the guy that fucking misses. I've done, I felt as though I'd done my part and I shit it. Mm. And then Jeff Whitley fucking. Jeff Shitley. Uh, Jeff the Shitley worst, went and tried to the worst the penalty ever, man. Mate, Did he? He tried to dink you? Try to like, it was a half dink, uh, half. It was like a half dink, half stroke down the middle, and the keeper just caught it. And see the words that Mick McCarthy 
said to him in the dressing room that day, they, they could never be repeated. Good lad. Did they ask you to take one as well? Good on him. No, no Mick, Mick came over and said, like, who's taking the penalties? And I just fucking slowly started like shuffling this way. Been walking ahead. Like, them. I'm surprised. So, I thought you'd have took one, big man. I never took a penalty up until I went to Hearts. You're unreal with them as well, weren't you? I didn't miss any. So um, I missed one at Command actually, but um, nah, penalties wasn't my thing. Uh, just too big of a shite bag. You ever took one? Do you take one that I've taken one in cups and stuff You've like that. You've took a penalty here, aren't you? I've took a few, aye. aye. Stick it in me, innit? I've missed one a lot, to be fair. I missed one. Did it bother you when you missed one? Aye. Uh, nah, but we'll phone them up, so. I know. I, if you missed a big one, I can aye. imagine it'd be like, fucking hell. Paul, they were near it. No, I missed one when I was eight for my dad's team, then I hit one again. <laughs> <laughs> what, your dad's five aside team? Aye, eight, eight year old. I hit one and never ever hit one again. Who's in goals, your man? <laughs> Oh, right, we update. Just give everyone a wee your lunch with John Higgins. He was stinking of John Virgo, wasn't he? Stinking of John Virgo and Peter Ebden as well. <laughs> his fork was the, and uh, what was the one? He left his bank card in the, the motor, didn't he? Well, oh, he had, had to pay for it. Uh, terrible. Uh. He's went posh as well, mate. Who? Crab salad. Yeah. Crab salad. He got me John Higgins. <laughs> You're we, joking. Mate, we were getting yeah. all sorts Where'd of Sabies was sorting us out. Sabies. Crab salad, mate. Oh, got. yeah, I love wearing that. Huh? Brilliant. But crabs, we, you know, last time promo, we, about a year ago when we went with John, we put a bug on chips, wasn't it? So in a year, <laughs> so that in a pint. We went, it was up at the, what was that bit called? St. Jude's. St. Jude's, we got in the bug on chips. Two meals for a tenner. And he's now taking you for crab salads. Oh, we took he looks heavier then he did. He looks heavier now <laughs> than he did then as well. He needs to get back on the burger. Best guy you ever lived, didn't he? He got, let's be honest, he got in the building. Ah, he what a guy. Aye. Best guy that's ever walked to earth. What about that camel? Aye, but it's better. Has he actually looks like the cue ball at John? Dick Campbell's ah, head he looks like he's a cue ball. He's big, big dick, isn't he? Aye. I, I thought I'd seen that, I know. Big dick. John Higgins chopping Dick Campbell's head. In St. Jude's. In St. Jude's. Brilliant. Right, we've got, we're taking over SWG3 as well wow. now. Fucking shock. Big news was announced today, and the Scotland games are sold out within hours. Are they aye? I thought there would be other ones because I, I was looking at some of the shows. Have you seen some of the shows? Some but of the wait, games that are on the shows? Pe people will know, but what the net end was, this ain't any show you'll ever go and see. It's like a rock and roll concert. Uh, yeah. in it? Is. Is it so, any, I was, I was at, people asked me what type of shows they're going to be and I said, see if anything like The Fringe will be unbelievable. Because eh? mm. cool. that was, you, you were different late. You took yourself to another level late. Wait till you see the entrance. Live shows is where you come alive. Aye. Aye. Aye, I need a crowd. Yeah. I don't need to perform, but the entrances will be sensational, would not they? Got some plans, didn't you? Oh, I can't wait. We were but, talking about them earlier, but we can't yeah. even reveal too much, but we were going on to do them. Remember the fringe he kept blow drying Jim Jeffries' fringe? That was strange. <laughs> right? Before he went out. <laughs> kept wanting to talk about Jim Jeffries' fringe. See you. You try to, <laughs> kept trying to break open that fucking table with the cash in it. What table? Remember the table in the nightclub? Oh, so I did. I had. Are you were trying to break out of that? Money it will be a good, it'll be, the live shows will be. You alright, but I'm You'll not be fine, huh? Aye, fucking right. You got that in your locker, huh? Well, we'll soon see. I know that's what you mean. <laughs> uh, there's also going to be opportunities to win prizes based on the outcome of the headline games. Uh, we'll provide more details in the coming weeks. But that's Sat that's Saturday the 19th, mate. Portugal v Germany, Spain v Poland. Do not miss You're that. You're going to come dressed as a German. I think that's one of the German. Betty <laughs> folks, isn't it? Betty just, folks. <laughs> just sniffing balls on it. We'll all we'll <laughs> we'll just sniff our balls the focus show. <laughs> uh, tickets are on sale now at Ticket Web. Uh, the link to buy tickets is in the description box below. We can use that German joke at the show. No, I'll keep that for the hand. No, no. That's your best joke ever. Ah, yeah. I think it was you said that one. I think it was me, but you can have that. <laughs> uh, right. Who's seen the heavyweight battle? How proud are you of this guy? Because at oh. one stage with Fortune and he was a wreck and he was a lion. Uh, do you think that's why you, you came Ferguson. in with Mel Boyd this week? Because you, you finally stood up to yourself and Aye. stood up for yourself. The confidence I had. It's just brilliant. After it, that, yeah. since. It was unbelievable. And I, I did not back down at all. I can't, the fact can't that he Derek, help but feel as if he won as well. I think he did one. I think so, mate. I think so, aye. I, I, I was like, I watched it and I thought, it's going to end one way. Slaney's obviously going to crumble at some point. Crumble? No. He absolutely rose to the occasion for the first time in a while. The fact time. that Derek looks a wee bit like Ford, was that kicking you on as well? I have since before done that. I thought I want an instant to come up and I'll show the world a bit more about my God. He was greeting, wasn't he, after the show? Derek. Derek he said sorry, didn't he? <laughs> he said, apologised. Sorry, Derek. <laughs> apologised. That'll never happen again. <laughs> I said, right, what you get? No, what's, wait, what's the reaction been since? I think everybody's, a lot of people said the mask slipped, because I came on here, say, si, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Almost put the act on, people say, I, f I fake, I think you said that in the night out, it was a fake. But I think see people seen the real me, the angry me. Mm -hmm. And I swear the live shows, I've heard there's a few guests coming from down south, wait to see what they get. Wow. See, it's like, I know you, you love a walk about the West End, that you see, since you've went walk since then, can you feel as if people are a bit more distant? Stand-offish. Stand-offish. Uh, stand Stand-offish. 
And they were like, what was that? They're like, ah, I heard, usually. What's happening to crowd somebody? You what? I heard in a pack. I oh, fuck knows. <laughs> anyway, you used to always run out of these. Now they're standoffies, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, but could you do us a favour? Can you put the mask back on? <laughs> 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 but who was right? Slaney, would you say Slaney? Aye, aye. Slaney was talking about being deflated. If there's an expert on deflating, <laughs> it's you. What happened to that blow up doll? Oh, that one? I thought you were saying Kev's about deflated. <laughs> <laughs> How did that deflate again? What happened? That was my me and my dad, wasn't it? He dragged it into them. <laughs> but you saying Slaney was right because met the result. Proves you were right. Aye. I th- I th- not only do I think you were right, I think that what you said in uh, in the, the situation was true. But what, you, like, what did Hamilton had to win my 18 now? 10 0. They're not going to tell me they're no deflated because they know they're already done. But look, the, the, the thing right. is, what Derek was saying about Hamilton is the, 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 the rest team who give everything right, if, and that's what they do. But if that's the case, they give everything all season, when they're done, it's going to play a toll on you. If you care, of course, it's going to have an effect on you, Simon. Um, but listen, I'm ready for anybody else now. Are you right? Anybody else. I mean, I watched, the, the best thing was, you two went for it. We've not had a fucking sniff at you two since. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've noticed that. Two of our best pals now, why are you going and coaching together? <laughs> and that was electric. So I took it upon myself now to keep it up. So the day, watch what you're saying because I'm going to come for you. Oh! <laughs> why don't you give him a wee? Hear me come for me. No, I won't. Hear me come for me. Because he goes personal. Were well, you proud of him, Kev? Because you <laughs> have been on it. <laughs> no, some of the things you've seen. Only a joke. Were you, you proud of him? I was proud of him because Derek, I don't know what Derek's soft spot is with Hamilton. He's very like. Why, it's why because did... him and Chipper share the Balenciagas. Is that what it is? Uh-huh. He was wearing them under the He was wearing them under the uh, under a desk. He pure loves Hamilton, but uh, we all do, but they're gone. So Slaney was right. Deflated or all they were. F- it had to have an effect. Mm. But see when he told you he don't speak. What was it he said? He stood. He sat there and he went. Don't raise your voice. Don't raise your voice. Don't, no, don't, don't, uh, don't shout at me, boy. Don't shout ah, at me, that boy. Is it, that is it. And the thing was, but Slaney was doing that under the table. <laughs> Aye, stick your finger up. <laughs> but see, 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 an argument. I haven't had that in ages. An argument, right? But you can feel your. your how is it your, your lip trembling? Your lip trembling a bit. But the worry was, I mean, if this goes on ten seconds longer, this argument, the people got to see me bust out greeting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but, he did well. He persevered with the argument. Yeah, Hamilton are doing now. We asked on the Coupon Show, can he wear the Balenciagas in the championship? No. Can mm, he? No. What, 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 what kind K- of shoes has he got to wear? Wallabies. Go Fake Timbies. I think case Swiss now, 100%. Case Swiss. Caterpillar boots. Sketchers. Aye. Aye. Toms. Toms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty bad at their toms, mate. <laughs> <laughs> With the big white ankles at the toms. Oh. Martin Neal goes down, he needs a Cruyff, didn't he? He couldn't have any Cruyff training. He's shiny Cruyff. Oh, they are terrible. Uh, mentioned it, Ross County Dunn. Uh, sorry, Hamilton Dunn, but what did I tell you when Yogi took the job? Ah, you, t- you called it, mate. Honestly, you've been on fire with predictions. How proud are you, are you big Yogi? No, I'm not. He's a horrible boy, by the way. Motherwell went one up. Mate, within, it wasn't even 10 seconds, Yogi down. That's what he wrote to us. <laughs> Laughing faces, wasn't it? Laughing faces. I'm gutted, I'm gutted for, for Chipper though. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like. What a guy. I just so much respect for him. I love his, I, I, I just love the way he is in interviews and that, his passion, he's honest. Try to get you, didn't he, when you, when you I, 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 It was a two for one deal, me and you. <laughs> and so, I tried it nearly happened, didn't it? Aye. What was it, put his ass again? Uh, was it, it was smell off his no, tom, he took his toms off. It was his spare toms, aye. <laughs> right. And then we had, we see he had Crocs and on the Crocs. office. <laughs> aye, it was me uh, to give him Crocs on it. <laughs> <laughs> but is that, Kev, is that John Hughes' greatest achievement in management? They looked down when he took over. Aye, they looked down, did. but. And he got, he got rid of, did, did, no, he didn't get rid of, but did they not sell like uh, Big Ross Stewart at the time? When he came he in? did, he went to Sunderland. So they lost yeah. one of their yeah. main pivotal points up front, so to actually galvanise them and get them up. Great ones, great ones. Yeah, They've had it. some great results, by the way, but Yogi Hughes, for everyone, all his football knowledge that he has anyway, because when you, when you listen to him talk, he's very knowledgeable. He's somebody you would, you would buy into what he's given you. I think that's basically the reason why Ross County's turned. I think he's the kind of manager that you would want to do well for. Mm. And he would look after you going down the line. I think if he, I think Ross County again next year will be in the bottom six. It'll be another struggle. But nah, I think third. Ross County oh, third. Oh, you went for St Johnson third. Make your mind <laughs> up, Simon. Joint third St Johnson. I think. Uh, I think that he, if he gets off to a good start with Ross County in terms of the, where they are in the league, he he could possibly get a, a bigger job in the, the Premier League. I think he deserves that. I think he might. Actually, I think they might do well next season. So do I. I think they'll be mid table next year. See, I feel summer with him getting his own players in now. And they're relaxed, and they're no, because when he came in, they were fighting relegation for the start. Mm, so right. backs against the wall right away, mate. I mean, 
So I think they'll do well next year. Because they've not played like a John Hughes team Ross no, County no, this year. No, and he'll take and he's that seen that, that he probably couldn't have gone and played like that. But they've actually, they've still played decent flashes, eh? Yeah. Remember a couple of games, remember the game at uh, Easter Road when they beat Hibs 2-0, they played right, yeah. some of the goals. They've got, they've got, they've got the players to play, me. you know, we mm-hmm. Kelly and Vigas, they're good football players. Do you think that's him being a management for, for a number of years now and just felt as if, I maybe need to change, change something yeah. if I get a certain type of team, certain Aye. type of players. I can't really play You've them. You've got to respect the chairman for, for giving him the opportunity to come in because a lot of managers that he jobs that he's applied for have just thought, no, Yogi Hughes, no, because he's been with us. He's took the chance on him and it's reaped the rewards. I, I please for Yogi because we championed him for you well, you Simon personally championed him for a long time to try and get him back into football and um he's got back in, he's done an unbelievable Where's job. Where's Gnome Yogi? Something tight there, isn't it? Aye, the rest is there a chance you won, mate? Well, have you not realised that he's contact that Peter Heed's up? He's, and he's not seen any deal? Me and Yogi next year. Aye. Player Take over. No, no, play. Is that why you're saying they'll finish third? Finish third next year, I hear. Well, you're better than Vigers. But I do know, again, Gardine scored. 35-year-old. What a guy. What a guy. wonder what he, he what got up to after the game. I know what he got up to. He did? He got naked for Motherwell. All the way back to Ross County. In the motor? The fuck, no, the bus. Pouring pints out of his head and I heard, I don't know if it's true, that Yogi was licking beer off his nipples out the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's all about. <laughs> Cardine told me, how good's that? Naked from Motherwell or Ross County? I've heard stories, I've heard, like, obviously, messed them with you, to be fair, and he sounds like a character, but how long's he been there? He's been there for years, hasn't he? Top scorer, top you know appearances what? as well. For him, because he's done that, no, the, one. no, stay, no, no keep him up, don't go on the journey naked, because he's done that, Get him to one of the shows. Oh, he'll come in him. He'll come He'd in him. He'll be wild at a show. He'll get naked at a show, huh? Aye. Well, the thing is, he could take the shine off you, still. Aye, look, I'll crack him. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Aye, uh, I, can, I can see that in you now. Cheers, bro. I'm actually a wee bit. Are you feeling the tinge, man? A wee bit. Fe- but see, uh, see, 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 a wee bit feel him now. See, we midge. What a player, Simon, isn't he? Yeah, he is very good technically, mate. Huh? Do you think, and I mean, what a career he's had, he's a legend at Ross County, but do you think he could have done, went higher? Uh-huh. Definitely, but just follow carry on. But he's got himself a good nick now, Midge. He I does know. all the hair belief and all that stuff now, so he's in good nick. <laughs> I know, that's that's okay. the one down point against him. Aye, honestly. Pretty hair belief. I was starting to really like that guy until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nearly no, no, live show now. No, no, he's a Lee Mears, Lee Mears got a hold of him, mate, and he's. Uh, Lee Mears, right. maybe he's part of the dark arts, isn't he? Yeah, he just right. keeps about trying to get people involved. I don't think a, p- a pint of hair belief at a show will go down well, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> hair belief <laughs> shots. <laughs> uh, brilliant, as we said, Aki's finally done. It will be strange not having him in the league next year, won't it? Do you think? Do you think we'll, uh, I think we could. I think it could be a long time before we see Aki again. Do you, mate? Aye. I genuinely think that. Well, he'll be in that championship next year. I don't know. I think. Dundee or Kelly? Mm. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Dunfermline, Rafe. Hamilton should have more than him, nah. Could do, but you never know, mate. You, you didn't expect Tibbs to be doing there for three years, yeah. or Rangers to be doing there for two years, so. I, I, I'm a you. I, I don't um, think I, I don't. I can't see them being done there for years. But Dundee, Dun, Dundee, right. and Dundee United, and too, when they, they went down, you think they're going to come straight back up? It's not as easy as people think. I know. Like, you know, mate. You know what it's like going to place at like Arbroath and that. Right. Right? It's no easy. I know that Hamilton. Obviously, they don't pay players the like big money anyway. And when they come down, I would imagine they'll probably have to reduce their budget some to some extent. That determines who you have in your team. And no, they'll, you get, they'll get, what, 700 quid for his Balenciaga, so I think that'll go to the port. <laughs> Are they on the market now? That'll, that'll be the end of season bonus, is I it? Not? <laughs> hey. First thing on the transfer, that's these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think that, like, they, they, they would need to come straight back up at the first attempt, or it could be a few years before they kind of find a... I don't, I don't know. I just had this feeling that They've punched above their weight for so many years in the Premier League and, and done well to be there. Yeah. Sometimes you go down, it's a, a shock to the system. But they've got good, they've got a good youth set up. That's always been the uh, thing. Their youth set up's been very good uh, for yeah, very years now. So. I think Dougie Emery's willing to sell his Subaru as well with the body kit on. So I think so. Uh, he should Aye. get body kit 500 quid for that. Easy. Is it some body wheels? 120 <laughs> Is there any alloys on it? Alloys, mate. He's got spinning alloys on it as Is well. It, so there's... What about, what kind what of about David Gwetta CD in there? In there? Da- <laughs> <laughs> David Gwetta. It's on his t-shirt. What, who's the t-shirt? Cut a cabane. But flat there, what man. What band is he in? What? singer Sifu. Do you like Kirk Cabane? Tell us two of your songs. Blood. What? Blood? Blood. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Blood? So obviously with the... Aki's... Disappointing, isn't it? 
<laughs> Aye, disappointing. They've got a job in their hand, keeping a hold of Callahan, don't they? Big He'll thing. be away. Who else will be who, The boy Hamilton could get a move. I like Jamie Hamilton, centre back. Full club. The full club. club. Uh, Bruce Anderson, will we keep him? I thought he was on loan, no? I have Aberdeen. Uh, but nah, he's he's no, he 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 I'm a Kev, I just think they'll look at the. They've done it for the last few years, but we'll just look at the next group of young players coming through, see if they can bring them through and probably get rid of two or three. But I can't imagine. I can't imagine they'll have players that are on that much money that they're, they're desperate to get rid of them. Mm. Aye. Uh, What's it that the boys sent the boys sent a half it scored a few goals this year? Uh, a dolphin, decent player. A dolphin, aye. Yeah, like decent yeah. play centre mid as well. Next season's who's gonna get in next year? Uh, See, it's some league next it? year by the mm -hmm. Hearts. Yeah, next year's gotta be competitive. <laughs> 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 He's winking at us when he says that. See, but but usually I would fire something back, but I'm a wee bit. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, no, I'm nah. not sure. No, I, I honestly it's gonna be one of the best leagues in years. In Europe. In Europe. It? it will be, mate. It will yeah. be one of the most the best watches in Europe. Um can right, right now, who do you think will finish third? Be honest. Who do you third? Think? Aye. Hibs. Aye. Talking about best watches in Europe, you still got your Baby G. Baby G, man. Uh -huh. Shock. Do you remember the watch you were with? G Shock. G Shock. G Shock. Your dad used to punt them, didn't you know the fake ones? Punt them down the barriers, aye. B Stock. <laughs> Few DVDs, are they? Who's going to be the last team in this league in? The last team for next year, is it going to be Kilmarnock or is it going to be Dundee? I think. Kevin Kyle, you can I go first. See your old club. I watched Dundee last week against. Uh, oh, Rafe. what the fire Rafe. stick? Oh, in the BBC? BBC, the 3 0 mm. game. And I think Kamal will walk all over top of them. Do you mean Oh, I? even though Dundee won 3 0 in that game? I, I just think that on, on, on that game, Charlie Adam was probably the difference with some great. Like the first ball was brilliant. The yeah. ping, amazing. The ball in between Same the one two. Was better, wasn't it? Aye, the yeah. ball in between the two, weight, great. To, uh, what what are you saying about his mate? It's a bit harsh, but he's I know he was it. looking a bit. <laughs> no, but to be fair, they said that the boy, the boy that scored, who was it, uh, Lee Jordan McGee, great first touch. I think his first touch was lucky. Like I, it, he got lucky in terms of he was able to get on the end of his touch. I just think that Kamalnik. I just think that I think there'll be too much for them. Do you? Right. What we're we'll laughing in. Aye, I think that. Um, Panic is a good player, by the way. Scored two at the weekend. Aye. I like him. Left I don't left think left. you can man mark Charlie, but I think if you nullify Charlie, I don't see who else is going to create the chances for Who's, McGee. You're and, just asking Alan Power to rat Charlie aye. every time he gets the ball if you're killing. But Charlie's aye. obviously of an experience and cleverness that he'll find a way of getting on the ball. But yep. I think if you can nullify Charlie, I think who, who in that Dundee team is going to really cause you problems? Whereas with Kamarnik, I think Kyle Lafferty up front. It's going to cause any team problems, and I think there's you more bucket. there's more for Kamalik to lose getting relegated in terms of the players' finances and things. Like that. I think they've got <laughs> to look at it, and it's a huge. And the way um, Dundee with your strengths, when you play against them. I, f I, I fancy Kelly. I fancy Kelly. Oh, wow. to oh, it. Uh, I think Dundee, Dundee have got good players that that can get them points. I don't think they can. I think Kelly will be able to dig it out there, see if there's like a 20 30 minute spell where it's scrappy, both teams are struggling to get a foothold in the game. I think Kilmarnock will, will have Merty to just dig in and hold on, they'll concede any chances. And I think with Kyle Lafferty, we're talking about Charlie Adam, and quite right, Jason Cummins and our one, Gowser, Paul McMillan, they've got good players, mm. but I just think if, if Kyle Lafferty plays and he's fit, this is these games, it's these type of games he's always done well, mm -hmm. he's done it through his full career. And Two white players are good for Burks. Burke will be a right. problem. I think like Kilty like as well. Like, good, yeah. I know he's sort of a player that's in the team, but every time I watch him, I feel as if he's a player that's making a difference in the game. So I, 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 I fancy Kelly. You even look at it as well. Since um, Tommy Wrights came into the job, they have looked better. They've looked much better. You were he's saying, look, even he's looked better. Ah, he's looked much better. He's great. Like that side shed is, is yeah. doing wonders. But when you were saying that, like for a while, Ross County looked as if they were going down. Before he came in, I thought Kelly were a set. Yeah. Didn't they win a game and like, was like yeah, I think a few of us called it. They called it. They said the command that would go down at one point in the show. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we take that back. But um, no, I think Andy's right. I think his points are valid because he's obviously played against Dundee. He'll know. I just think on the Dundee beating Ray three 0 I don't think Ray for great. So for me, it kind of gave a false impression of how good maybe. I know, but no many teams go to Ray and win three 0 mate. I know, but really yeah, good aye, aye, four 0 twice. <laughs> That's how. I'll tell you. Set what. you up for that one, mate, don't I? Exactly. Just you stick it in. Dundee Strencer, Dundee Strencer set pieces. Are they? Aye. Well, Who? of course we delivery. 
But I think the boy earlier. Oh, mate, Ashcroft, Ashcroft, Ashcroft is the best header of the ball in the world. I think he scored like six. He gets on every set piece. He scored like six, seven or eight this year. To be fair, it is some size and nut he's got in it. I know. Who's Osman Dund- Shaw's about seven foot eight. I know. Who's on uh, Dundee's defence? Ashcroft like- and Foster was there, but he's left. Who else is Your there? Your mate, Cammy McKee, Fontaine. Fontaine. Uh, yeah, what do they do with Lafferty? Other full backs of boys. Is it Marshall? Yeah, Marshall. Marshall right, the left back. It was a uh, Queen's yet. Cammy Kerr's been playing as well. David. But. Paul, who are you saying there? I've not asked you. Dundee. Oh, based on? Individual players. Firepower. My, Cummins. Uh, Come Dog. Charlie Adam. Uh, Paul McGowan. Paul McGowan. Uh, Cammy Kerr. <laughs> McMullen. Firepower, Cammy Kerr. McMullen. Do you like him in the final third, Cammy Kerr? Yeah, brilliant. McMullen. Let's throw, throw in a brilliant. Uh-huh. How he practices with misses, ah, yeah. didn't he? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I think he does I somebody drove by him I, know, I was thinking back to the story you told us <laughs> I think so I, I, I and his mum bought him a Dundee coat while he was a Dundee player for his Christmas you're joking no <laughs> never heard that before. he came in one day at Dundee and he had the big jacket on and we were like that to Larry in the kit room and how could but how's oh, yeah. he got that jacket and we've known she, she said no 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 his mum bought him that for his Christmas <laughs> So he got a jacket for his mum for Christmas and he's been throwing his... What do you think his reaction was when he opened that? His dad's a mascot. It must have been like, see, like that, when that wee Wayne opens up the avocado. That must have been him when he opened up that Dundee jacket, surely. I've not seen that. You've not seen it? I'm just thinking his reaction but when he opened it. Oh, he loves... every every, See, every day before training, he's that much a Dundee fan. We used to make him stand... We'd all stand at training and he would go out in the front and sing a Dundee song every morning at training. Loved it, mate. Fair play to him. Lovely boy. Great guy. The only worry I've got a wee bit is Tommy Wright tactically just a wee bit with experience in er, er, uh, Jazza. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I think come on, if we just that? play the same way, the, I don't think he'll change tactics or anything like that, though, boy. No chance. No chance. No chance at all. <laughs> I'm going Dundee. Aye, aye. I think it'll be a tight game as well that'll be determined with Your mates told you to say that? Who? Have your mates told you to say that? No, no, no. no. I, I do like Big Jazza, so, so I, hope, I hope Dundee got. I will to be fair, one less Astro pitch if, if it is, but oh, aye. I'm fucking mad. I know, but the hill looks at like Den. Did you, did you notice in it, the hill at Den? Never mind the hill, mate. The pitch in general. What, no good? Oh, it was terrible this What's year. What's that? I don't no, know what like, two grounds. It usually be good, but <laughs> this year was shocking. <laughs> It'll be raging, mate. Aye, <laughs> no, but the hill's a killer, mate. The hill at Den's a high. The hill at Fir Park's worse though, nah. What is Fir, is Fir Park like? Slanty, aye. Slanty, aye. I'll sort that. That was him, right? I've not noticed that. I'll sort that. That's because the groundsman's concentrating too much on know, his face, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we're on to the big one, lads. Scottish Cup final. Whoa, Andrew and Kevin have been nominated by the fans to go up to the oh. tactics <laughs> ball. Oh, fair <laughs> boy. <laughs> on we go. You're the, you're the coach. You're the coach at the front. I've set it up for you. Is that that, will that be how it sets up? No, I'm, you, listen, I'll. Both teams free at the back. 3 5 2, aren't they? Ah, both teams free. I look, who's it? Can I just ask you quickly? Who's the, the free centre half for St Johnston? Who would you say is. Out of the three is the best. My cat. Would you? Aye. But I hear Celtic are in for the other one. Who care? Aye. Really? Aye. Is he no really old now? No. No, Kerr's still quite young. 22. 20, 22 is on the head. Captain, isn't he? Who's it? Who, 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 Liam Gordon's at one plays in the, Liam Gordon was at Peterhead. Liam Gordon, aye. Is he? Came to Peterhead, never done great. Is I mean, listen, I would love to go up there, but I, I don't feel I know the, the, the two teams inside out enough. And well, it's kind of your job to know. No, no, but I did. I, I don't want to do them any injustice. So Andy and Kev, I know you just love you at the game, so... <laughs> but, but, but we, don't, we don't need you to talk about personnel, we just need to talk about what, what have you seen facing Johnson Hibbs this year? That's di- they, use this, they, they play the same shape, but what have you seen that's different Andy, that can make a difference in the game? I've sat here before and I've heard you saying you love playing a 3-5-2. I love playing a 4 3 so it's not my position to go up there, but I've heard you say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, well, do they both set up the same way in a 3 5 2 nah. Johnson and Hibbs? No, nah, Hibbs are going to be more attacking. No. Nah. Do you think? Aye. Hibbs' wing-backs will be almost wingers. Right. And what St Johnson's want? Well, Sean Rooney's more attacking out of two of the wing backs, yeah. but I think... Booth got... Well, the last game, Booth was hearing uh, forward. Two, but, but if you look at it, Andy, and this is just going to end this year. I thought you were only taking charge of it. Do you want to do this bit? I'll just <laughs> bit you do the next bit, right? <laughs> Callum Booth is a left back. Martin Boyle's a right, uh, right winger. Yeah. That's the difference. In the mind. Well, you've... Done well. But also on the opposite side, Doig's a left back and Rooney's probably more winger. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Perfectly matched. <laughs> but I think that that is valid game. on how they actually play because was it you said last week you like it when this bit like veers off mm-hmm. into the left channel, gets it on half turn and switches it. There you go. What you like, whatever I think everyone notices when they watch Hibs is 
They're shaped up in a 3 5 2, but when they're in attack, Boyle's a right winger. Yeah. Mc, McGinn's a right back. Right back. Or Mc actually steps right in yeah. as a right back. And the two centre halves just go into a, a flat two and, and Josh Doyle's a left back. So they're pretty flexible in their shape. What, what they've got now is just box to box players in midfield. See, when you put Hibs, Hibs, see Hibs in midfield, Andy, what do they see their three in the middle? Is it Gog- Gogic sitting with Newell and Irvin each side, or is it Newell and Gog- Gogic sitting with Irvin in front of them? No, no, no. Newell, Newell and uh, oh, Jackson Irvin in front of Gogic. But so Gogic Jackson sits Irvin's on his own box to box. Newell's yeah. more like a, like a, playmaker, like a deep line playmaker, if you will, it, yeah. and gets on it and tries to make things happen. But I, I, I think that's a balance in Hibs midfield that they've not had for years. Because mm. I always thought that, like, anytime you played against Hibs, it's like Scotty, Stevie Marlin, can't even think who the, the third will be, whether it was Dylan McGee or no. Flame Henderson. A like lot that. of quality, yeah. but no, no to get the legs that, that they've got now. Mm. So I think that's why, you know, Hibs' biggest difference this year has been at the back. They've kept way more clean sheets. At the start of the season, their clean sheet record, their defensive record was miles better. But they've got uh, Martin Boyle, they've got Nisbet, they've got Dodge, they've got three players that can win them games and score yeah. them goals at any point in time. I don't think St. Johnson have that. that I, I think that's the one thing that St. Johnson's team is missing. They're, they're, no missing. they're missing somebody that can get them 12, 15 goals and then maybe spread it around with somebody else that gets 8 or 10. I just think that they're just so hard to beat. Who? St. Johnson. St. Johnson, yeah. That, that's, so that's the reason I, I, I fancy them to win the, the final. Do you think they're harder to beat because Gogic sits on his own where St. Johnson have got McCann and it's either Liam Craig or Bryson that both sit. So and I think they get across to, to cover their, their, their wing back quicker than Hibs do. And I, know, been there on I, his and I know you're saying that you think that Rooney's obviously like, he, he could play winger, they could, but off off either defenders to me feel, feel as if they'll just defend first. Yeah. They'll just defend first, keep mm-hmm. a clean sheet, and if we can help and attack, we can. I've, I, I fancy St. John's the other day. I think over if it if you match the two teams up, you said to me, who's gonna who's gonna do well over the course of a season, I'd say Hibs all day. Mm. But in a one-off game against each other. I just think I think, I think St. George will be hard to beat and again like I said like uh, a couple of weeks ago I think they'll win it by a set piece yeah. I think Hibs need to they don't need to change the way they play too much but they need to find something a wee bit different that breaks or unlocks the, 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 the kind of back seven six seven of St. Johnson because yeah. even though Hibs play the three five two, it's like a three five one one because Doyle plays so far up that allows Nisbet to come in drop a wee in. bit, drop in. So it's a case of Doidge, for me, I think Doidge needs to play as far up and occupy two of, yeah. the, two of the three, which then allows Nisbet to try and get more and then get, the, get it into him more and try and get wide so that when they get it wide, it means that maybe one of the centre halves might need to come out to, to boil, which then allows Nisbet to come in and play as a two. Then it's like a two on two. So I think jo- Hibs need to try and get. I've got to put it up there. Two the minutes, Kev. Do you want some cranes and colouring while we're talking here? <laughs> so I'm, actually just, I'm actually just listening here. And I just think that... I think so, that's, the key, that's the key to um, Hibs getting more opportunities with St. Johnson. I think they haven't had that in the games that they've played them because I think when St. Johnson don't have the ball, it's very hard to break down that back... the back three plus the Bryson, Craig, um, McCann sitting... It's very difficult. So Hibs just need to be that wee bit clever and I think it'll come down to Nisbet dropping deeper. But I think St. Johnston did that well, what you said about Tuchel. If Nisbet does drop deep, mate, one of the, the set halves are more uncomfortable and going, when, when they do do that, McCann yep. and Bryson and Craig are very good at, at covering for the So then the you, backs. obviously, when they, when they, if, if he drops in and, and they're quite happy to sit back, do you then think that Hibs need to, as a, their back line and their full backs need to get up further? Yeah, because I don't think St. Johnson have got players that can really catch it. Uh, ah, going the, the other way. It depends yeah. though if they play Glenn Middleton up front like they did against Celtic. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. gracious. But will he play? Quite... I think it'll be Kane and Melamed now. Nah. I don't think Melamed will play, no. No? I think don't he'll go know. with Middleton? He's think actually think... not played in quite a lot of big games this year, Melamed. Yeah. But what he has done is he's made a difference any time he has. So I'd be more mm. inclined to say he'll play Middleton out of the two of them. For that main reason. Just legs, Some runners. Man. Similar to what we're playing uh, when they, they go to play at Parkhead, I know they get battered, but they know it's out are going to play a high line, they know there's going to be space in, in behind. I think that's an area they'll try and exploit. I, I think the first goal was massive. Aye. Massive. Has Hibs got pace at the back? Is Handling, Portis, Aye, and again, Portis, Portis is alright, but Handling. I'm not Handling. slow. I'm not yeah. slow. No, I think, I think we, we, when, when Hibs have the ball at the back, I think St. Johnson need to really concentrate on getting Hibs playing down one side because I think 
as much as Porteous likes to play, he always is always is trying to play at the back. See if they could get Hibbs going down one side and focus on that. It'll make it easier for St. Johnson to get the ball back. Because I think if it goes down one way, Porteous sometimes has got that big long big diagonal. Long diag and sometimes I think that's a, a, a thing in his game that there's times he should do it and there's times when he shouldn't do it. And it's just him as a young kid with experience figuring out when's the right time to do it. And I just think if St. Johnson squeeze him down one side and get him stuck playing longer balls, that'll stop the Grinty midfield, the, the intricate link-up play that Hibbs will be looking for. Because Jackson Oven, Gogic and... Um, who's the other one? Newell. 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 They are, they're all comfortable enough in the ball. Yeah. They're all quite happy willing to receive it. So I think St. Johnson need to try and make Hibbs, uh, Hibbs play it long. I'm oh, going to check... On this. I'm going to check... Hibbs v St Johnston results this week. Yeah, St Johnston beat them last Johnson game, didn't they? One nil. I think they beat them twice. Beat them, beat them, beat them twice. at Perth one 0 and beat them at uh, Hibbs one 0 St Johnston beat them in the semi. Three 0 in the cup. Beat them in the cup as well. Yeah. Aye. Have they? Three Aye. times. I just about to say I think Hibbs will win it. No? But the thing is, a lot's been made of Callum Davidson's season, but if Jack Ross wins the Scottish Cup and finishes third, what a season! Unbelievable. I remember Sam about, about a year ago before he came in, Hibbs were a laughing stock, a shambles, weren't they? Oh, yeah, the place we're at, we be heck of bottom, and he's came in and now. You almost expect it. I mean, he's been under the radar, Jack Ross. Yeah, they went for Heckin bottom to sexy bottom because he's got a oh, I like good that. Bum That's a great Jack way of done it. that. And I, no, listen, I think he's been, he's very he's been under the, the radar. A, a lot of people talk about Martindale and stuff, and he's got a cup final top six. You listen to the Calm Davidson as well. But Jack Ross third place comfortably as well now. And uh, if he wins this cup final, what a job he's done and his recruitment. My goodness. Brilliant. Yeah. Ah, they've recruited well. Very well. Have I. Yeah. And, it's, and I, I think Hibs will do it. I, do. I just think they've got. Too much quality up top to st for St Johnston. Do you know feel it though? Is it, the longer the game goes now, now you would fancy St Johnston. St Johnston yeah. I, I think the Hibs need to score. That's why I think it makes St Johnston massive. think about how they have to change. Mm. Whereas if St Johnston score, that suits them because they are just going to pack it in, yeah. sit back and soak it up and try and count Hibs in the break. But on Stanley's point with with Hibs and recruitment, they are now to me in a position where when the summertime comes, it's a case of just adding one or two. Yeah. But it's one or two that need to be able to yeah. come in and hit the ground running or you're not getting a game. They've, they've got a good foundation of a starting 11. Their subs are strong. And now it's a case of we don't have to have change, whereas some teams are going to have to, like Aberdeen, are going to have to get three, four or five bodies. Still the same. Rangers are in that similar position to Hibs where you're only bringing in one or two just to try and reinforce what you have. And I think that's down to, like you say, good recruitment, Finding players that are willing that understand the club, know what it means to play like. So it's going to be a great, a great final. Yeah, that's it could be an uncomfortable final as well. But that's there's a good chance Callum Davidson's going to need to stand in his pants on the side. Hopefully, now that flares are banned in football stadiums, uh, he'll not be allowed to wear, <laughs> be allowed to wear, wear his trousers. So he can't be allowed to wear that. I'd love if he wore jeans. Would you? Uh, jeans with a shirt and tie. Shirt and tie. What was his suit? Pathetic, no, I asked. Oh, bag, bag Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Wright. Tommy Wright left it for him. <laughs> Jean, I think the other man doesn't even have that man's suit. But yeah, that's worrying. I didn't know they were, um, they beat him uh, a few times. Right, few times. He might yeah. have his number. Sometimes yeah, that just happens in football, doesn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. Who'd you whittle on? Hibs. Uh, I can tell, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want Hibs to win it, huh? Jack Three years of get Hibs jackets on. So I'd, I'd love, I'd love casuals. St. Johnson to win. For no other reason than the fact that I'm, I'm a hearts man. And well, a Celtic and man, so and a, a, and a Celtic man. man, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I, I was a Rangers man sat night for about three years because my mates were here at a party, so I joined in. Have you got offered a few quid today, a Rangers night, you and tell a few stories you would do, it, wouldn't you? Of course I would. <laughs> what a fucking problem. I support any team anybody pays me to support. Yeah. Aberdeen next year as well with the Jet. No, yeah. absolutely not. No, because oh, oh, they've taken them, them away from you. Because big part of my life is here, Simon. See the Jet? Would you know move Billy Browning? <laughs> No, you can bath him in the sink. As much as the, the as just... much as the jet is, is is I can I've I've just got to like I've got in control of the jet. No, he... Billy's a oh, was he wild man. for a what? Was he wild oh, for a minute? Was he? Honestly, it's some of the things Simon I could tell you are fair. <laughs> Do you mean me? You'd be uh, shot, but the jet, uh, but we Billy, Billy Brown. <laughs> Imagine bathing Billy Brown in your sink. Wash his back with a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's a great guy. Billy's, Billy's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's one of the best. Uh, right, we've got somebody here, luckily, that's played in the uh, Scottish Cup final. So Andy Harley. Can you talk right. us through the build up to And Andrew? The build up? <laughs> train, play. Train, I train, play. <laughs> obviously, it's different. Train, train play, make a cut that back up the road. That's a great in terms question. of obviously the week leading up to it, see, you, you, did you play the week before? 
Aye. Right, so you'd, you'd a feeling that you'd be starting. Is there any point in that week leading up to it, the manager starting to do all these different tactics and fucking team I'll, sheets I, where I, you think, oh, I'm no playing? Nah, but I, I, I've, I've probably been lucky enough in the two cup finals that I've played it. I was pretty oh, much take a regular. Finals, take up finals, yeah. Take up finals, no problem. Oh, fucking lost the two. Right, okay. Right, can we um, wrap this up, Simon? What's the next question? What do you think I don't even lost the two? Is that a lack of mentality or...? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, I don't, we don't know. We've not been there. So I mean, so We'd love to hear. Uh, well, first one, first one was just didn't play well. It was the Hibs, Hibs one, 2015. 2-1 uh, up, but with 10 minutes to go, you just think, doesn't matter if you played well. Did you feel like you? Just trying to get out. Uh, I said that, but I, did I? But we went a month without a game of football. Couldn't get a friendly anywhere because everybody had stopped the season. Obviously, Hibs had continued because they were in the playoffs, but it wasn't an excuse. It's a cup final, you know what I mean? Just adrenaline usually takes you through these big games. Uh, but 2 1 up by 10 minutes ago, regardless of playing well or no, you just dig it out, you see it out. And Who's man with the goals? We. So, no. so we used to, no, so we wobble bottom right. Get on the board, go on, get on the board, on, yes. This is, this is what I like. I actually liked the setup as well, but our set piece record was fucking terrible. You like the setup of Zona Market? I liked it, right? No, so it wasn't really, it was like, so we used to have. So we used to have a, was that a guy in the front post? Didn't have anyone in the back. No, we had a guy in the front post. We used to have a guy marking the front area. And then we had three, three guys that were all assigned literally to go and head the ball. Davy Weir, went. who else? Davy Weir, uh, Quella. <laughs> Daily? And Richard Goff. <laughs> Richard Daly. So we, we used to have, we had <laughs> three players. We had three players that were the, like just told. Where are you in this Matter class? where the ball is. Well, I'll tell you in a second. Right. Fucking calm down. <laughs> so we had three players that had to go just go and attack the ball. And we had three players in the front. That all their job was was just a block, so just no way anyone get a clean get a run, run to go and fucking he take a big lick and he did it basically. You, I usually like that setup, right? But see, the only issue was see when people used to try and start and so like see like managers where they see see after three games you watch how people do set piece you're going to try and combat yeah. it the best way you can. Managers used to just say like, "Can I just tell by the guilt in your face you're a blocker?" Top man. Yeah, bang on. I'm a blocker, one of these three, because fuck me, I could never go and hit it. See, when people used to just sit, managers used to say, oh, you just stand in there. Uh -huh. And as a set piece, just put it in tap room. It put. And what you You're set up right out the window. Would you not go back and go go side of them? Well, see, aye, we would. But then how have they get any clean run to go and win the, win the ball? Oh, boy, at yeah. that point, you may as well just man mark, because mm. there's 30 people in the space of just a small area. So that nine times out of 10, that's what people have done. And see, people have got good deliveries, which. Who was it that day? Liam Henderson. Liam Henderson. He's got a good delivery. We'll just mm. put it in that. Aye. And as blockers, and uh, you talk about block as well, wait, uh, opposition are blocking you. Do you know mm. what I mean? So you're, you're not actually getting a clean look at it to actually stop people to get a, a run at goal. And like you said, if people get good delivery and put it on tap. The likes of, I think it was Rob Keir and Danny Wilson, mm. and so they've not actually got a clean look yeah. at getting a run and try to. Who try was, to it, David, the was it? David Gray? Was that that? David Gray. Was he come across Stokes. in the years? Stokes. Second one, I think it was just they tried to put it again on top of the goalie, but he actually underhit it and it was just sort of near post. And he just like I think he just held somebody off and he did it in front post. And then David Gray's was David Gray's was the same, sort of similar front post area, span across the front and just no. Right. But you say, Andy, like, like the the zonal mark and we we did it. I can't remember what club we did it at, but. I used to didn't mind it because I always thought I don't need to worry about picking somebody up. Yeah. If it goes on my head, then I kind of didn't about it. But I would always try and get a zone where I would think I could get a wee couple of yards, and I'll, I'll just go and clear it. But as an attacker against zonal marking, you could still see right if he. So goes, you, she's an attacker. Would you rather play against zonal? Oh, marking? why? Because they, they are just all standing, Stand, standing in the same position, and doesn't no matter um, the, like Andy saying the next lot of blockers, you could always find a way of getting. Yeah. Like you're only talking about a couple of steps to get a run on somebody. Because see, the blockers, that, mate, it's, it's, not, it's never the strongest no, players. Because the strongest the players, guys, so guys like you could just bang and walk out the way. Aye, right? So that was the thing. Like, I, see, as a blocker, your job wasn't to like they knew that you're never going to stop somebody no. completely. You just need to try and disrupt them as much off. as you possibly Aye. can to allow the other three yep. to go and hit the ball. My issue with Zono Martin, which is why now I, I don't like it, is there's, I don't think there's any accountability. Mm, so see, aye. see if it's me as a blocker, yep. and I do my job by blocking somebody, he goes and scores. I can. I'll say to the guy that's the front of the three, well, it's your job to go and hit the ball. Why do you need that? The thing or is, see if, see if you're in the middle three, and the ball goes over the first guy's head, 
he's like, ah, what goes over my head? So, so I don't think there's any accountability. See, if it's a man Martin job and I'm supposed to mark you and you score, it's my fault. Your fault. It's like yeah. Andy says, Andy nails it in the head and this stops all the kind of zonal thing for me. Oh. Wait, no, he's right. It's, it, it's delivery. Like, closer to me than it is to him. Yeah. He's getting no chance of getting there before I, I can. And it's all down to delivery. Just... Sometimes it works, and some I think zonal marking works if you've got four big guys who can go and head the ball. You're, uh, what? Did you, your mum, you know, get called the blocker in the house for what you done at that toilet. Why? Aye, Simon, I didn't call that. But uh, I would go man, I would go man marking as well. Would you? Yeah. I think a lot of teams do. So like, I was saying, what the three? A lot of teams do just have like one. So let's say have one guy that probably the best header head of yeah. the ball. Saying you you stand there and and, and just try and head out whatever it goes and, and, and everyone else man mark. Yeah, yeah. Then if you beat like your man, if you did man to man and he gets a run on that, then there's nobody else there. I, I would know, always I have a bit of I would always have somebody front area, and I would personally always have a person on each post. That's would you? Post, would you end always, it? always. Do I would I would put always. a guy, a tallish guy, near post in line what? with the goal, in line with the post because. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good corner, yeah, it yeah, needs yeah. to get over him. And then my next guy I would have is probably one of the best headers. Hopefully he can just go and head it and then the rest pick up and make it difficult. Why is that? In mo- see, in modern day football, you, you see so many teams don't have anyone on the post. Why I don't get it. Of goals doesn't make any sense to me. Because uh, if a corner comes in and, uh, and the ball gets seeded uh, in the corner, they ne- 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 go with the world saving it. No. Mm-hmm. What's no. your uh, what's your take on uh, when somebody lies down behind the, the wall? I fucking don't understand it. I do, but did you see Turnbull's goal against St Johnston? Down under the wall? Oh well, yeah. So that would uh, so maybe I didn't I tell my wall not to jump. I would so I, I would tell him not to jump. And yeah. if you see if they get up and over uh, the wall, it can't do it. Hamilton it happened as well. Hamilton's free kick went under the wall. So I don't know if there is a place for it unless you tell your wall not to jump. But they all say so, like that that free kick was the wall was inside the box. So the way I've been told for 15 years if you, you're in the wall and the wall's in the box you don't jump you stay on your feet mm-hmm. if you're in the wall and you're outside the box you jump because they're never if, you're, if your wall's outside the box the free kick's 30 yards out I'm not going to try and slide it under you under your no. but if you're the wall's in the box aye. just stay on your feet aye, because it's actually harder to get it up and over the, the closer distance. it is to the box what age did you Strachan done it we used to do it. I was the first one I seen doing it. Was he? We said like in Champions League games. Uh, Mate, I tell you right now. He says he used to get he used to get Aiden to do it because he hoped that Aiden would get it. I'm telling you right now, there's a way to counter that. There's a way to counter somebody lying under the wall. Oh. And I'm gonna tell you off there. Go, so get one Come of on. your No, I know what to do. Get one get him to go and lie lie beside him. Aye. Uh, I'd love to like, do that. No, 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 you no, and your mum your mum and dad in that picture. Are you used to that? That's no mine though, that's no mine though. Right, what, you gonna what, tell us? No, get Kev to stand behind him like men of one, just lift him up as a free kick goes. <laughs> <laughs> just pull him up with the shots. <laughs> so I'll tell you that fair. Right. Because I'm that. Uh, I might be use it. Who was the coach who told you? No, no, it's. Oh, it's yours? Uh, it's his own theory. Well, let's try to work it out. We can, can it be in? Well, we'll see. What age were you when you made your Europa League debut? <laughs> Europa League? Aye. What age were you? 28. <laughs> what were you? 27. 27. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll get a final prediction, Kev. Who are you going to have to St Johnston? Yeah, uh, St Johnston. Oh, actually, I was there. It was fucking 25. Goodbye. 25. Right. This. Six years behind me. Uh, <laughs> um, Hibs. St Johnston. Uh, so you went. Uh, who did you go? St Johnston. St Johnston, Hibs, St Johnston. I don't know. You I'll, point, go, I'll, go to Utah. I'll go St Johnston. I'll go Hibs, sorry. Should we be there forfeit for the two that loses? If you aye. want, aye. Wait, he's won. Redders. Redders. Live Redders. Yeah, yeah. Live, Redders. Live Redders. You need to wear a thong, but. Right, okay. Uh, right, Kenny McLean, gutted for him. What a uh, guy as well. Heart, been on the show. Heartbreak. Heart, uh, sorry, fuck me, I'm stuck there. Heartbreak. <laughs> heart heartbreak for the guy. Um, he's been there for Scotland for years and years. It, 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 sort of when the, the results and they were getting criticism and stuff. He's been there the whole time, scored the two penalties, didn't he? The winning penalties in yeah. both games. Uh, he's somebody that was going to be first name in the squad list to go. Um, really, really heartbreaking for the guy. Um, Nah, that's that really. I just that's how you got to turn it. Got it for the guy. Oh, I right. gave him a wee message to see what open goal guys are thinking of him. Oh, mm-hmm. what a man. And he said, if, if any of you can sell me. <laughs> You're pals, aren't you? Nah, Kenny's a top man. Got it for him as well. He was an absolute cert to go. Probably a player that would have played games as well. Mm. Steve Clark's. Anytime you see Scotland sort of rotate their team, he's always one of the first changes that they make or, or comes off the bench. So. He plays ahead of Flecky in that, didn't he? Aye. Kind of and, you think we... and he's had a right good season at Norwich as yeah. well. They've obviously been flying. He's played basically every game. Aye, devastating. And with Ryan Jack no making it, he, he could have potentially played if they go McTominay in the, at the back. Yeah. He'd have had a big chance of starting, but listen, opens it up for somebody else now, doesn't it? He's big manager at Norwich. Looks like a porn director. He looks he? brilliant, him, uh, doesn't he? Where's he fake? German as well? German, German, German. Farka. It's another Bosniff, isn't he? Bosniff. Oh, dear. 
So he's played under a boss now for which is great experience. Uh, great and and it helps because if you go and draw the Germans, you know, exactly you know what they like, bit. you know what they don't like. You're used to the smell. So. <laughs> Kev, who, who comes in instead? Get, got to be Gilmore, isn't it? It has to be. Has to be. Steve Clark, we're making a play. It has to be Billy Gilmore. I, like, to be. I just think that... I, why, why no? I just think it would give... I think it would give the squad a lift, by the way. Having him in the squad... I know he's only young and he's maybe not done anything quite like the, the levels of some of them that are up, but just the young kids, like the attitude, his mindset, what it's like at Chelsea, I just think he could offer so much. And surely with Steve Clark's connection to Chelsea, he must be well aware of what that wee guy could bring. Would you start, would you start Gilmore? No? I would. Yeah, so would I. Aye. But I then just think, I think, I think, I think he, he, he potentially could as well. I think if, if they do call him up, which I think they will now, and he has a look at him in training, training. and sees what he can bring. I think he'll why, why do you And his dad's an elite sportsman. And I call him. Why do you think no, he's no been involved? I call him. I know he's been injured, but why do you think I he's think no even come into it? See, to be fair, it's an area of the pitch where Scotland are very, very Aye. strong. But where does he and play Steve Clark, he, he trusts the Kevin players McGregor. that have played in there. But now that Ryan Jack is obviously out for the Euros, Kenny McLean's new out for the Euros, there's going to be a couple of spaces for, for some. Obviously, asking man. you two guys and Slaney as well, like the three is, Coaching wise, what he try and be manager maybe one day. I don't know what your aspirations are. Does that matter that because of Billy Gilmore being at Chelsea playing Champions League and things like that, do you forget about what the people have done for you leading up to that point and just say, no, he's coming? Do you know what I mean? Best player plays for me. Mate. Aye, that's, that's what I'm trying to ask. Do you, as a coach, do you say, oh, no, no, he comes in? Because for me, I think like there's a it's a lack of experience that's stopping Billy Gilmore getting picked by Steve Clark. I don't know what it is, but that seems to be... Although, fair, it's fair enough, Steve Clark have got a set way of playing and the players that he plays in, aye, in aye. that way suit, like McGregor and Jack. But if Jack and that's not fit then, for me, Gilmore, aye. Gilmore needs to play. See, I mean, it depends where McTominay plays as well. Mm. If McTominay's playing in midfield, it's McTominay, McGregor and, and uh, McGinn. That's mm. going to be the midfield aye. three, 100%. Yeah. I just think, like, see, you look at the games, Croatia, England especially the two games you're going to have no a lot of uh, possession mm -hmm. see when you get the ball against these teams keep you need to keep it All right, he does and that. See, and not, not only do you need to keep it you need to, you need to be positive you need to mm -hmm. play forward and actually yeah. try and hurt them he is perfect for that yep. because see as much as people people might have looked up and thought ah he's nice and tidy in the box he will play forward mm -hmm. if it's on to play forward yep. he will play forward all the time and see the other game defensively got that as well He's got that about yeah. him. Aye, got energy. Like, regardless of his size, he puts his shell about and he's, he's got that nasty side to him as and well. And what so you're going to need is people to be brave. If you do get away a couple of times against an England Croatia, you can't go and hide, go and hide him, whereas going. Gilmore will keep Aye. going and keep Which, to be fair, I, I do think that that midfield three anyway, McGinn, McGregor, McTominay, they're all capable of getting on the ball and making yeah. things happen. But, I, I, like you said, I wouldn't say best player-wise, but talent-wise, yeah. he's the best that Scotland have yeah. produced for however time. many years. And I, see if he doesn't make... See if he doesn't make this Euros right. Steve Clark's probably looking up, looking up and thinking that this boy's going to be the future of Scotland for the next 10 years. So there's no point waiting. We're in no. a major tournament. So we're saying I'd, Jack... I'd put McTominay at the back straight away. All right, so we're saying Jack doesn't make it because of injury and neither does Ken McLean. So they two spaces, you're saying Gilmore and Tumble. Aye, if, yeah. if you're looking for two direct replacements for two midfielders, that'd be the two. There's nobody else really that can come in as a surprise other than them two. Eh? There's no like, somebody out with you think, oh, wow. I'm not no. sure, but I think generally I think Gilmore, I think he is the best player in there. Yeah. I think ability wise, ability wise, but I even think is what you said. You're not going to get a lot of the ball when you do. For me, he's by far the best player that's going to keep mm -hmm. it for you. I do. I think so, what, what would the option be to play Jack Henry as a right centre back and McTominay in centre midfield, or put McTominay at right centre back and put Gilmore in centre midfield? Yeah, me personally, I, I'm the same as you. I'd have McTominay yeah. at the back. I think he's been very, very good there for Scotland. Yeah. So, what's your back? What is your back three, Andy? Tierney, I don't know, I don't know. Tierney, McTominay and it's either Gat. Davey Weir. G Davey Weir. The, the third, that, is it's, that, it's, that, it's that third one I'm not sure about because he's big Davey Gat has play. not really played no, for, for no. Motherwell for a number of weeks. Mate, I, I keep saying this about Liam Cooper. I feel as if I've never seen Liam Cooper play. My first no. goal, I don't know. I, like, Why yeah, is that? But even at Leeds, he's not, I don't think he's, I know he's, he's had injuries, but so it's hard for me to sit here and say I'd play him. McKenna. Scott McKenna I've not seen since he's Aye. been down south. I think he might play McKenna. McKenna's the quickest out of the three. McKen is the quickest out of you, isn't he? Aye. Back -wise. Aye. I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah. Grant Hanley has is, is played nearly every Grand game for Norwich Sun really well, so he probably could be the one. Jack Kenry again, I've not seen one. No, I've not no. seen him play once. Hmm. So it's, it's I've seen him argue, but, but I've seen I'd, him I'd play McTominay at the back. Aye. Gilmore, aye, starts. Yeah. See, if you look at it right, 
Imagine Billy Gilmore goes and plays in a Champions League final and doesn't get into the Scotland Euro squad. Come on. Mm. Aye. I think he'll be in it, won't he? I think he'll start yeah. the Champions League final. I think since he's yeah. came, I honestly do. I think since he's came in, he's done really well, and I, I can see him starting in this final. Yeah. I, think, I thought that, I thought he had a chance, but he took him a few hours, not half time, didn't he? Yeah, but he said that was tactical, but my thing was he never played in the big FA Cup final, did he, at the weekend? No, oh. I know. But then, but, but then he, he didn't perform. I think he well. cut a hair. So maybe that's, that's, well. that's his thing, but he, I think he'll be, he'll be there or thereabouts. It's actually good that we've got this argument for Scotland, because we don't have it. We've never yeah. had it for a long, long time where we're thinking about you not know, having top players in my team. Mm. So, no, it's good, it's good for the, it's going to be, I'd rather he Steve Clark's headache right enough, but... Tell you what, we'll be having these debates at the live show. Oh, oh the live show, is it'll be kicking see off. See when we say the team are going to have a fucking head. Ah, scream at each other, aye. don't talk shit, not in it. Are you aye. going to come for it, Peter? I'll be coming on right, aye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zlatan, it's set me, I miss the Euros through injury. Came at retirement for it. Big miss for the tournament. You I, don't, him, I hate him. He's a prick. I can't believe that. Needs to go up, mate. I thought you'd he's got a wife and kids and all that. It's like I that. thought the type of guy you're, you'd have loved somebody like him because he slaughters all this modern day player and all that. Does he? I Aye. hate all that nonsense. He calls himself a lion, isn't it? But he is a hero. But he's he a lion. Mind up, isn't he? Uh-huh. I don't know. Remember when he left MLS? He said you just can get back to watching baseball now. <laughs> Do you know how he's, like, he's just a type of guy though? What, I don't even think he means it, mate. I think it's just his persona and he just plays up to it. Aye. I don't actually think he, he doesn't think he's a lion. Paul Byrne, Jackie Wilson, and Rodgers. They hate him, didn't they? They despise they him. Despise him. They despise him. Can you know, I thought Paul Byrne loved him. No, I think can you know? Imagine what with the way Paul Byrne all that is. That he, he pulls him up. Aye, that's why they hate him. Paul. Uh, you only, uh, you only, you can only go on what you see, can't you? But I don't know. He might be different in the dressing room. Sometimes I think he's just like, mega confident. He's, he's a leader. I mean, every team he goes to. They win leagues. Yeah. I think they could, for, for based on the question, he's a mystery to him, man. But you need to look forward to what he's got to say. And if he scores a big goal, you know he's going to come out with something brilliant. And what other Sweden players is there now? Jordan Larson, Larson's boy. Is he playing? He's gone now, eh? Is he? Yeah. No way. Wow. He's, he's, I remember him as a kid, mate. Oh my God, lively. What's he what? Lively kid. Uh, all the kids was like, I remember Sutter used to bring his two boys in. Is it Ollie and somebody? And uh, <laughs> Piero. <laughs> I think Piero's maybe just joined and was sitting in the, the physio room and the two wee boys are just sitting there, but they were bold as brassy boys. He went, why did you tell me last night that Stephen Pearson was the worst football player you've ever seen? <laughs> Piero's face was bright, bright red. Did you hear that? bring their kids in? I used to take my kids into Rangers, just for the free swim pool. Did you, huh? Aye. You took the piss out of that place, That's shocking. <laughs> what, with the white, the rubber rings and what? Ah, I took him in with the floats and everything. My <laughs> oldest boy, Max, I would take him into Rangers training ground. Like, I was, because I, I was, I was always injured, so we'd come in and just hear a swim and a carry on and we gave him a basketball in the big, the big gym and that. Um, but, my players always brought kids in. I've took Frankie and uh, Peter Headdressing a couple of times. We got beat, <laughs> I was in the stand. Frank? Uh, Frankie, yeah. Uh, Frank yeah. McAvenny, me and Frank. You took him in a Frank family. Frankie. So we, and we'd be, been beat 3 nothing. Jim was fucking fuming, man. So we, me and him went, do you know the back of Wraith? Uh, where you get a piss and stuff like that. So we went and stood in there. Jim's boys are sitting down, Jim's coming and raging. My wee boys walked right out in front of me. He's like, all right, Jim. Oh, Mate, I thought Jim was going to punch no. fuck out my wee boy. He's like, beat it. Went, came in and started going mental at people. And he's like, my wee boy, shut him, Sally. Wow. Shut him, Sally. What was he in the changing room? I was in the changing room, yeah. I, brought, I, I bring one a couple of times at Peterhead. Brilliant. Do you know what I think it's poor? He's I know there is a good over He's a lovely man. <laughs> Sit there. You never you thought can come bringing, anytime, mate. Never thought about bringing Paul in, no. I've told he's, he's a asked me many times, aye. What I'm about you? Any kids? Anybody bring their kids in Rangers, isn't it? Eh, uh, nah, nah. Don't think so. Professional. Fan. I think it's just the end. You the sort of end of season. You banned it in Rangers, didn't you? <laughs> After the Kev era, no more. After the what era? Kev's era, bring kids in. <laughs> no more. Did nobody say anything? You can bring your kids in there. Nah, because it was always like on the days off and stuff like that. I remember like uh, the when the match days like Clive Arena went Sunderland, he would bring his son who's what, now obviously now? Uh, ripping wow. up Tory Andy Flo's kids, they were Scottish speaking. I'm pretty sure Clive Arena's kid must be eligible to play for Scotland. Right. So I he think he was born right? in Glasgow. I'm convinced he was born in Glasgow. Tell you what, not a bad player. Uh, right, end of season, majority of players in Scotland now be off. How good is that feeling when you're done? Stag do, best in history. And it, there's not, nothing better than a stag do. What one have you know? Red Scotty Max stag do. Um, turned up with, do you see, see in Sports Direct? I'm supposed to go to that. I know, bottled it, because you had that big one. And, uh, <laughs> 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 see what you see in, uh, in uh, Sports Direct, you get the, the, the Lonsdale boxing gear with the vest, the yeah. blue vest and the big long shorts. I wore that st- Scottish stag do. The way got, and then have, we were there for four days, didn't have one set of clothes. Nothing we just wore that at the full time. No clothes, no money. 
No money. He's money for four days. Let the scuddies buy my dicks. <laughs> Brilliant bit. Did four, you get a bird? Two. What, two in four days? Two in four days. What, get off, sir? No, foot full hog. How much? Right, all the way. No, no, no. <laughs> if they cash, if they cash. They cash. Proof that. No, I too. It was brilliant. Standard. It was shocking. <laughs> but no, it was, listen, it was good. It was, I mean, it's just the best. I mean, did you take, did you take Lilo? Lilo, I. Um, but no, you don't get, ever get, there's no better feeling. I don't know. Uh, the sun's beating down. No worries. What factor do you use? I don't use the sun. No way you didn't use I don't sun. LA for six months, didn't use it once. Wow. Oh. Don't agree with it. Fucking sugar uh, cream. Did you wear your t-shirt in the pool, aren't you? You going stag do's, off season? Oh, stag do's, aye. Stag do's, hen do's, duck do's. <laughs> There'll be a picture of that long Peter Reid's? Did you go Peter Reid's stag do? No, we used to go, like, at the end of, we used to, some of them we were always like an end of season. You don't get end of season, like, teams three days away somewhere. Mm. I guess we We always went to Marbella, Sunday, end of season, Marbella for three, four days. And then, eh... Uh, Early on, I think my son and career, we would, because uh, I got a few big bonuses, I took my mates to Magaluf. So we used to go Magaluf. Magaluf, man. Brilliant, isn't it? Magaluf was right up there with possibly the greatest place. I, I did say, after I think maybe 2003, that I used to go every summer Magaluf, and I, I, I had, a, I had a, a bad weekend, and I thought, <laughs> I'm never going back to Magaluf ever again. And then obviously I got married 10 years ago, and I went to my stag duty in Magaluf. I'm never going back. Mate, we booked Ibiza for a month. Me and a Cal. month? I, I swear to God, I was just giggling to myself there because we booked we booked Ibiza for a month and Cal booked a flight home the second day. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he woke up and I had just a pile of sick. He's like, I'm going home. Fuck it. Did he go home? Did he go home? No, he ended up going home because I was raging with him. I said, like, mate, we booked it for a month. You're going to go fucking home. That's so a like, long time ago. Oh. Oh. A month far too so, long. I can tell my worst, my worst, uh, worst moment. So you're talking about stag doesn't that? Like you said, oh, fuck, how good are they, man? Best. And you do look forward to them. You, you look forward to them for fucking for weeks, and when it comes, man, you're like a wee guy. And it was Matty stag, Matty stag. Well, I got I'd be fun. It was like fucking usually Glasgow. It was like eight in the morning flight or something like that. And see, to be honest, I fucking hate the flights. I hate them, man. The Glasgow flights are just mental. So, but one thing that makes it what like bearable is if you just go and get mad at it before uh-huh. it, and you just forget about it. So honestly, I'm not even joking, mate. We were at the airport. I think the flight was like half eight. We were at the airport for like half five, like quarter to six. Just getting scooped up. And by the time we were nearly going on the flight, we were all fucking blitz. We're all nearly half cut. So I'm walking up, we're checking them. We're at the boarding gate. And so all the boys have gone through. There's about three, four already through. And I pulled out my passport. And I'm like, oh, I've heard oh, this. I'd be fitting all that. I was like, pulled out my passport. And the mum was like, to me, are you joking, eh? I was like, what? I took Jerry's passport. Oh no. No. I swear to God, I took Jerry's passport to the airport. Then he got on the flight. Well, he never went. Well, of course I didn't. I fucking didn't have my passport. So I you, took fucking did Jerry's. Did you book a flight the next day? So I had to I had to get a taxi, but, all, but what made it, all the boys are fucking pissing themselves laughing. Like Vidon is just pointing at us and all that. And like Cal's Cal's like that to him. <laughs> Okay, you know, we just got on, no. <laughs> <laughs> With fucking a long ginger haired lassie's passport on. <laughs> And fuck it, Matty started to rain the plane and all that. It's like, she's like, it's no happening. So I had to get a taxi. But obviously, back to the house, get my passport. Taxi to end by airport. I had to fly to Cologne in Germany. Oh, fuck I had sake, like man. a three hour layover. At this point, I'm fucking. I, mean, I was hungover <laughs> the fucking afternoon. Oh. I had a three hour layover in Cologne and Cologne to Ibiza. Didn't get it at like 10 at night or something. Oh, Did any of the boys go with you? first day. No. I mean, if there's no chance, I, I, I wouldn't expect story. anybody to stay. How do you know that story? I heard that from the, in the taxi driving uh, when I was oh, taxi driving. Taxi driving? Maybe, maybe the guy that took you back uh, to see the two turned up honestly. with Mrs. I've actually, I think I've got a video. I'll show you. I've got a video of the boys like videoing me, just stunning and devastating me. I'm devastated at this point. Amazing. So, so he went to my repair with Midge. Do you know what Midge was doing every day? Sit ups. I'll not tell you what he was doing when he was coming up for the sit up. Uh, oh, we already know. You no, done it, I know. I told you, but uh, I done it as well. But, uh, we've done that thing that Midge loves doing because it was his stag dude, you kind of go, you can go to the toilet anywhere but the toilet. Aye. So basically pissing yourself or, or holiday. And uh, we met Adam Milan and Danny Fox and Tibu, you know, the nightclub Tibu. <laughs> and uh, obviously Fox, he was at Celtic, was a great guy, knew Lalana a bit as well, playing against him, been a couple of nights out with him. And they were buzzing off at me. Danny Fox and Lalana took me and I think it was maybe, I don't know if it was Midge or somebody else, on their table, mate, the top table at T-Boo, full night, paid for. Oh, what a night. Brilliant. Michael Ball, remember Michael Ball played the Rangers? He ended up coming here, sitting here, talking, sat all night, they paid for drinks, champagne, 
Brilliant. Have you met any Heroes. other? Have you met any other like footballer on like a holiday and thought, what a guy he is? Mine's just Danny Graham. I honestly, Danny. Graham Are you side on Danny? Oh, the amazing time. man. I was so good, but just up for a laugh, isn't it? Just up for a laugh. I just like because yeah, some career, you know what I mean? Fucking yeah. Premier League and all that. It's obviously just Mate, a, a just, a, just a normal, normal guy. And honestly, and his group of pals and that were all sounding that as well. Like, I mean, I was getting called Richard now, the guy Richard fell in between us that just stayed, like, went on holiday, so I asked him if I can. That was me, that trip, that's David Danny Graham. <laughs> Mate, we, here's another story. We played, when I was at Portsmouth, right, we went to London for a night out. And it was when Hull was playing Arsenal in the FA Cup final. Was it Brucey? Brucey. So we had a couple of young boys that signed for Hull, that signed for Portsmouth that, that summer. So Hull got to the final and we went to, was it Dollhouse in London? One of the big nightclubs, and they were like, uh, "Come on, we'll chance it with the whole boys and see if we can get in with them." It was Danny East and Sonny Bradley, the two boys. So, mate, he speaks to Aaron McLean, member striker. Uh, Aaron yeah, McLean. I played with him at Bradley. Peter Burrow. Mate, what a guy, man! He was top man. He's like, ah, "Lads, come in." So this was they just been beating the FA Cup final. We had the full hit at the back, cornered off. So like, there was me. They Can could, there at that point. Griggsy would have been there, uh, maybe, huh? And we all went back. And so we're in the back with them, mate, and we are taking the piss, champagne. But as the night goes on, they all end up leaving. So I'm just sitting there on the end with oh, all the whole boys getting fucking steaming and David Myler, mate, clocked us. He's like, who the fuck's that? Sitting there to me, mate. David Myler ragdolled me out of the, out the VIP. He's like, beat it. You're taking brilliant. the piss, man. Uh, so ragdolled it. Mate, I've, got, I, I, I've got a thousand Griggsy stories, man, but I'm saving them for a high No, give one. No, honestly, I can't. They're too good. How? They're what, is too it? Good. what is this about? Just away. I just, just when he's up, mate, it's just amazing, man. Honestly. I keep on for the hydro because how many have you got? Totally, surely you can tell one now. No, honestly, I, I, I don't think I can. So I've got like two or three, and I'm, I'm saving them. I know, but we only need two for the hydro, don't we? One. I've only got one. Two. I've only got one. <laughs> I've only got. One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about programs? Did you just get programs when you're off? We were just talking about that, yeah, aren't we? But getting programs. Hi, uh, mine starts today. Does it? Nah, Mate, see that? It does, man. Fucking what? Does, seriously. You're, in fit, you're in football you're the whole year. Uh, Let the boys just That's what's been after two summer. weeks now. Should and that's you got a programme to start? That's modern day football. Kid. Did you ever follow the programme, Slaney? No, I disagreed with him. Completely. That was another one where uh, Gardine, funny boy, mate. So see if you get given a programme, like the sports science has always been working on it all, month, all, all week or all month or whatever. And you're like, he's all getting going up. And the game midge the programme, midge used to say that. Again. <laughs> 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 just like that, walk it. <laughs> Mate, that's me. I they should David him, but I, listen, I, I agree. You can't come back to pre season a, a fat slob, but I, I totally get that. But you need to completely switch off. See, you, if you come back a wee bit overweight, that's what pre season's about getting fit. I mean, the, right. the runs are getting them, mm, You're getting battered in these runs. Mm. Just let people enjoy their time off. So you're in there all year, so mentally as well, you have to completely switch off it. Did after. you get a pro, ever get a program that was a proper doing? Oh um, mate, the Canals was a doing mate. Last last year, last year with the Angels, just be, just before we finished for lockdown was ridiculous, mate. Absolutely ridiculous. What sort of just what running wise? I bet it was like five and ten k's. So you were like ten k's. So it was like say a five k on a Monday, a ten k on a Tuesday, a five k on a Monday, a Wednesday, a ten k on a Thursday, a five k on a Friday, and that was like the first two weeks. Mate, I'm no joke when I say because it's all road running. Know what I mean? Like my hammies, my calves, like my full body was just in shutdown. <sighs> and like all the boys actually came together and were like, can I do this? So like you end up saying to the boy Jordan, who, who's brand new to be fit the fitness coach, and he's like, mate, all this, like, everyone's fucked. Too much. Too and much. Uh, that was like the first two weeks, you've got another, what ended up being fucking like six months. Right. Do you know what I mean? You couldn't have done that for that amount of time. But yeah. I, mate, I, see, see, the killer is new. <laughs> Cause like you know what it's like. You, you go given a program right, and there's days where you felt up fit and you date, and there's days where you're. Oh, oh, yeah. No, know yeah. what I mean. Like we'll yeah. see what happens. Everything's done on Strava now. Everything's oh, done on Strava. So see, you see, like the day I'll go a run, it will get recorded on Stra uh, Strava and Hearts will follow everything. Every club's the same. How Every club out, everything's on Strava. How do you get rid that? How do you get rid of Strava stuff? Doug, just put your dog in it. Right, my dog. Morton players used to do that with Jimmy Mack. So Jimmy Mac, you, Jimmy Mac does four fours. He used to do four fours. Uh, that's that's me today the the four fours. And uh, but he'd let them go in the training ground. There was like a big forest, and then there was places you could go. And he used to say, "Just go and run anywhere." So Dean, Dean Keenan, and uh, maybe Scotty McLaughlin was one of them as well. Midge oh, Gardine. Got story, they man. used to go and sit on a bench, and the dogs strapped their heart rate monitors to the one wee youth team player who was fit as fuck. So that wee guy would be running Three. about with 
I've always been somebody that, to be honest, I, I've always tried to keep as fit as I could, could over the summer because I'm not like you're quite naturally fit, aren't you? Uh-huh. I've never been naturally fit, like, love to be like that. So I've always like kept fit. And I remember my first full time, uh, no, sorry, I wasn't even full time at the time, but I was going into uh, to do a bit of pre season with the first team at Livy at the time. I would only have been about 15 or something like that. So I remember like pure nervous going in. The first day it was 12 minute run, used to do a 12 minute run at Livy. And it was like, so see where the stadium is? Yeah. It would be a, like a big route, you'd go like, by MacArthur Glen, you would come down, there's like a wee river. The river's only about 30 yards wide, 20 yards, 30 yards wide. You'd go all the way up the river and you up the river would be about maybe three, four minutes. And then on the way back for the river, it's like the last three, four minutes and you're at the home straight, you're done. Mate, we're doing a 12 minute run, right? It's my first day, like full time football, uh, basically. And you know what it's like, or the first team players are like, fucking calm down. Do right, right, stay busy bastard. We'll see what happens. So this is like, say, Snoddy. Snoddy, Scotty, I'm hacking that, right, calm down, you're not going anywhere. Scotty, the fit's never by the way. So Snoddy's like, you, start, you stay next to me, you're running this full thing with me, you're not going any faster, or, or no. So I was like, right, no worries. So we get to the bit where we're doing at the river, right? It's Snoddy stops, and I'm shit myself. I was like, do I need to stop or something here? So I like keep going, but I'm like jogging. I turn back, mate, he's got a tap off. Shoes off, socks off, carries them, swims across the river <laughs> to the home straight. <laughs> just stands there soaking wet, mate, waiting on the boys coming back. So I said, boys are jogging back, he's just waiting like that, boy. Just jogged to the end. Did, did you go in the river? Fucking away? unbelievable. No, I did a fuck. I wish I did, though. Hardest Swam part across of, the river. That's amazing. Hardest part of pre season, sit ups. Tuesday sit ups. No, calf raises. Calf. Have you ever done calf raises to you feel? No. Mate, go home at night, right? And day calf raises to you feel. You ever done sitting in the wall? Tell me how long your calves are so far. Sit on the wall? Aye, aye, that's hard. What's that? Just so sit like, in the wall? Aye. It's fucking. So if you go down like a squat position, but your back's against oh, the wall. Oh, right, against the wall. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. Mate, how bad is it when, you know, body fats are getting done and you know you're a fat bastard? Fat bastard. Back? That is the worst. Did you ever do pull up? What is it called? Like pull up hang or something like that when you were at. Uh, hey, you just had to hold like, it. How bad was that? <laughs> how what, stupid is that? What is it, how did that pop just fucking stay there for a minute? Terrible. Uh, again, I used man. to do that naked eh? <laughs> You just get naked and hang, hang with his pots and his cock in my. Okay, what about you, pre season, big man? Did you come back in shape or did you keep yourself right? It was always alright, pre season. Oh, yeah, well, pre season wasn't a, a problem for me. I just. I, I didn't do any programs because I'd, I'd always seen the six weeks holiday as a holiday yeah. and the whole point of pre-season is to get you fit but nah the hardest thing I think I ever did was the first day back 12 minute run 3,200 metres that sound about right yeah, 8 laps or something 8 laps on a running track and then that's right. that was in the morning and then the bleep test in the afternoon and then it was like some kind of weight thing in the end to fail she had to keep doing like all these weight exercises I, I stuff to like fail. That. To fail, man. What was the Th- test you used to get with the mask on? Oh, oh VO2. VO2. Max. Oh, VO2. Oh, VO2. Fuck, That's man. That's terrible. More speed? They used to bring in fucking Swedish boys to do More speed? I'm, I mean, fuck, fuck off. You know how you get the beep test? Speed. What was the other one that was similar to the yo-yo beep? Yo-yo, yo-yo test. What's worse? Yo-yo or beep? Yo-yo. Yo-yo. The, 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 beep, the, the beep test is horrible. It takes for ages. ages and the mate. nerves, you feel sick with the nerves. Uh-huh. That's terrible. The first time round. I, I'm the same, mate. I despise the beep test. Oh, See that man. noise, man? It makes you feel sick. Then I just think about it. Season. Start oh, of level wow. three. Sports goalie. scientists, what kind of sick bastard are you? That's the mm. bit of the season you're like the pure buzzing for it. Yeah, I was actually Come on, really lads, see the other English. Come on, lads, pre season. I mean, fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it, but calm down. I know. I Honestly. Oh. What, how can you get so excited you, about running? Have you ever done a pre season where the manager joins in? The canyon, mate. Mate, it's strat- Fittest, dude, everyone's strat- strat- was about 60. That's Honestly, horrible, God, mate, mate you're doing a fart like, and you're like, ah, fucking manager's in front of me. Here. Mate, like, see, see, I was in the top group with the carrier, right? So he would come and join the top group and see before the race started, he would do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, the fuck? Mate, and he would, he would, he'd be off it. Eh? He'd only ever wear a, whether it was pissing down the rain, whether it was fucking 90 degrees, he'd only ever wear a, what are they called? Under armour and, and wee tiny shorts and he used to be like that. Was he, was he the one of fittest? Oh, mate, fit as fuck. The worst is goalkeepers in it. Uh, goalkeepers are embarrassing. The goalkeepers are nothing short of pathetic when they try to beat you. Just get out. I know. Don't want to fit. Goalies at time. Uh, You're time killing. You're absolutely killing all the boys. Get yeah, yourself right. to fuck out. Put your gloves on. You need a Boric in your team. Who I didn't even Boric done the Boric test. Gigi done it, but he's like go to the like fourteen. Billy Brown so. pre-season. Fuck it. Billy Billy used to do like a run in Italy. I think Hearts had been going to Italy for fucking like for a hundred years, and Billy used to do this run up this hill. So we, had, back, didn't it? <laughs> so we had like the heart rate monitors on and fucking 
we come in and Alec, the physio, would be like, aye, the boys are all working at like the 125% of the maximum, that, whatever it was, the heart rate, so don't fucking look like it to me, uh, Alec. <laughs> But, but Billy, the, 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 the heart rates are showing that they're, they're working hard. Nah, don't look like it. Come on, get them off. Up the hill. There you go, Billy, oh, take you in again. Yeah. Just you old ever, school. Have you ever done Go and Sands? No, it's not. No. Wow. Go and Sands. Up the sand dunes. Aye, the sand dunes. Oh, my days, mate. Me. That's the worst Who done that, though? Gary Bowen. Gary Bowen. Shocking, man. But so it's easy to do. Again, it's like a steep sandbank. Oh, and it was like, it's like a row of like maybe five cones, like 10 meter apart. So it'd be like run up, grab a cone, put it back, run up the hill again, yeah. grab a second cone. Mate, that's honestly that Culture. was the hardest training session I've ever done. There is runs you then pre season, you're like, there's no way this is needed, man. I, I, I've told you, mate, I see five Ks. I think, Do you disagree just, with them? Oh, for a football, 100%. <laughs> When you ever just run a 5k? Arsene Wenger said four fours is the best for football. Four, four fours, fours is good. Four, four fours is interval training, isn't it? So, like, I take a four fours. Mark McGee used to date 800 metres. No, it's so did Strike, 800, 1200. Apparently, Levine's was mental. The worst ever. Yeah, Apparently his is bad. Pre season was solid. But what happened to the team? I'm sure this team get took to the army. Sunderland, Roy Keane took to the army. Very good the army. 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 Fuck mate, see if I'd be my worst nightmare. Mate, see if you're doing something. What's that got to do with football? See exactly, if a guy was What has it got to do with football? See if somebody's yeah. like, get fucking up in your face. You know what I mean? But I had the rifle on your face. Aye. So like, you're going to an army camp for a week, it's a week you could have been on the boys and what on how you're going to play What kind of, uh, how long would your pre-season like, would you ever do like the early start to what time you finish in a day? Because obviously like we were six o'clock for a fat burner. Then we would go and have a breakfast and then we'd do the running, running. And then we'd go home and tell you to sleep for three hours and come back at like four o'clock for weights. Yeah, oh. And you like you were there to like from six in the morning to six at night and it was fucking relentless, Check, man. I think pre-season when compared to when you're younger, it's totally different. You get more boys now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. a lot more. Uh, do you like that? I mean, much more. Aye, we'll just fit on it. Listen, I, I'll never say there's no a place for running. Like, yeah. you, know, you need to run in pre-season. But the me- when you look at the old school methods you used to do, it's Mate, wild, like man. It's wild. Some te- I, I know that some te- teams didn't get the ball and, for and see, the, see the funny thing is, see, see 20 years ago, the players weren't even fit. They weren't the, the anywhere near as athletic as the players are yeah. these days. Uh-huh. Mm. Some but even mate, even striking on a Monday was fucking hard, wasn't it? Remember, Aye, you used to do the the warm up was a, the warm up was like what was it? You would jog along that the back of the goal. Pendry, yeah. gas sure pendry, gas pendry, jog along. This is Monday morning, mate. What during the season? Played Saturday, Monday morning. Have you been called up to the first team? Usually, been out all weekend. Do you know what I mean? And then what? You had seventeen seconds to get for one corner. No, that's up, disgusting. And then and then it would be fifteen yeah. seconds. Oh, mate. The worst that was the warm up, up, by the way. The that was the worst one. The worst one I ever did was when in a recovery. Uh, for rehab, try to get fit, and you set off on the pitch, and the guy jogs, and you've got to overtake Follow. him. You've got to you've got to run and catch him, like overtake him. Yeah. So he's just jogging, and it's like it takes fucking forever to actually catch a guy. Yeah. It's the worst would run you, ever. I think if I was a manager, though, I would. I don't know if Monday or Tuesday I would do running. Yeah, Tuesday, no running, but maybe not a bit of a hard session. Is, yeah, of course. Supposedly, like, I think every club does Klopp it. Klopp does it, doesn't he? His training's meant to be so His hard. His pre-season's meant to be ridiculous, Klopp, isn't it? What's the thing he did to be blood out? Have you seen that? They pinched them. Aye. What is that? So I they run running and they get to take it I think that's line. just a similar sort of VO2 max thing. Aye. So it's like... Measure. You, you basically run like a, a bleak test to your drop and then when you're absolutely done bust, they take your blood, see mm. how like... I don't know what, what it is they measure, but... Do it the season if people come back for and that they'll match it to that. Ben, it's supposed to be fit, did, did Danny McGrain ever did you ever see Danny run with Paddy in pre-season? No. Oh mate. That that's that the is best, a highlight of my career. Best right? image ever. <laughs> Danny was actually fucking beating Paddy. Do you know who else was? Do you remember Mark Muller at played? Falkirk and Aye. stuff like that. Aye. What a player he was on in terms of the ball, but he was the same at pre-season, he would come back a fucking disgrace. But he wouldn't care, mate, like he'd be last and Danny would run mum. And then we'd drop him at the pub on the way. Every day he'd go to the pub. He was like 18, mate. He'd go to the pub on the way home for training. Come back the next day again, a disgrace. There was always a pre season fat club, weren't there? The ones that Aye. came back too heavy. Fat they club's horrible, mate. You're in early, like, you're in early like, and you were doing boxing or fucking whatever it was. I was in that club a few times. How bad's the feeling, though? I've when, only been in it once. How bad's the feeling when it's like the day before you're back to pre season? You like just look at yourself shocking. in the mirror. 
Mangin. What have I done to myself? And you didn't eat that full day. <laughs> you just going to make a difference. <laughs> Wearing a black bag on you. Mine's just <laughs> the fact that you just know you're just going to just run Man. your bollocks off for a month. Did you ever be it's sick? a horrible time, Matt. Oh, yeah. Disgusting. The worst bit is when you finish that first session and you know you're going back out. It's, and you're I, I, oh, it's the main thing. thing. It's the main thing. Um, I, when I retire, I'll, I, I will be so happy I'll never do a pre season again. Yeah. You ever sick, Dana? No, nah, I never. Yeah. Nah. I have sick all the time. Well, yeah. Just in sessions and all. What, you just stop and be sick? Be sick everywhere, right? Who's the manager? Everybody, yeah, in manager head. What did they say? I don't know, I think they just looked, I think they thought it was nervous. <laughs> sick, but it's just hanging. Were you just sick thinking about the boys are coming up? <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep running? Keep running. Uh, right, that's us, lads. What a show, wasn't it? Yeah. Good, wasn't it? Again, a big good. thanks to this week's sponsor. Brilliant, Pretty Green. Say pretty their name. Green. Pretty Green, the best, the best in business. Best yeah. in business. Pretty. Check out prettygreen.com for the latest menswear, clothing and more. Use code open goal for the next day delivery. What are we doing now? What do you want to do? Your lunch? On me? Piss up. Well, when was the last time you got a lunch? A couple of years ago now, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> full, de full details and link in the description box below, by the way, for the open goal stuff. Brilliant. Love well that. Done, lads.